Okay guys, I'm giving you a quick review here on what we do to find perimeter and area. So, I've got a rectangle here, uh, meaning that these sides are parallel and the same length, and these two sides are parallel and the same length. So, I need to find the area and the perimeter. So, first thing I need is the formulas for perimeter and area. So, think, say it out loud, uh, what formula would I, would I be using to find perimeter? Hey, hopefully you said something along the lines of length plus width plus length plus width or two lengths plus two widths or length plus width times two any of those would work. So the way I think we've been doing it is length plus width plus length plus width. And perimeter gives you the distance around the shape. So if you're building a fence around this shape, that's what you would, that, that tells you right there you're finding perimeter. So all I need to do for this is to add a length plus width plus another length plus another width. So 12.3 plus 8.5 and the same thing over again. So, I'm just adding that together, if uh, however you want to add it up, probably what I would do is do 12.3 plus 8.5 to give me 20.8. And then doing that there would be 20.8 again. Then, and you can stack and add just however you want to add those up. Adding those up. Remember, 8 tenths plus 8 tenths. So we'll go ahead and stack that. And I'm adding, just like adding dimes, 8 dimes plus 8 dimes gives you a dollar and 60 cents. So that's six tenths, carry the one there, and I get 41.6. So my perimeter is going to equal 41.6. Next, I want to look at the area. So when you're figuring out the area, what is the formula for the area of a rectangle? Hopefully you said length times width or width times length multiplying the two numbers together finding the area so length times width that tells us what it would take to cover this so if I was gonna cover this shape completely or fill up the the inside of a flat shape you know, cover something with carpet uh, anything like that that's gonna be area for this, I'm just going to multiply them together. So 12.3 times 8.5. This gives us a good review for multiplying decimals again, too. Remember the way we've done it is to start out, I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3 times 8, 5. So multiplying it just like they're whole numbers. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry times 5, 10, 11, 5, 6, do 0 to hero, mark all that out, <clears throat> times 3 is 24, Eighteen. Okay, now I'll add that together. Okay, so I have the digits for what that's going to be, which would be 1, 0, 4, 5, 5. Now when I put the decimals back in, the ways that I figured this out is either estimating, if I did 12 times 8 or 12 times 9, about what is that, 
normally we've just counted how many numbers are behind the decimal. So there's one, two. Two numbers behind the decimal. So my answer would have two numbers behind the decimal. So my area would be 104, 104 and 55 hundredths. My perimeter would be 41 and 6 tenths. Okay, I want to go through a quick example of another problem you could possibly see. You'll see a lot more in 6th, 7th grade on, on up. But you might have a rectangle that says, okay, this side is 7 and the perimeter is 36. And it wants to know what is the area. So here's how you would go about figuring that out. If this is 7, that means this side over here also has to be 7. So that means perimeter would be 7 plus a width plus 7 plus a width. And we know perimeter is 36, so that means 36 equals and I'll go ahead and combine these. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 2 of the widths. So that means whatever the width is going to be is going to be half of this 36 minus 14. So I'll subtract that out, which gives me 22 equals width plus width. So hopefully you see both those widths the width should be 11 because 11 plus 11 is 22 so the width is 11 so now once I figured out this width is 11 right there to do area I just do length times width so 7 times 11 and the answer for that area area equals 7 times 11 so area is 77. Okay, hopefully that helps some, gives you some helpful tools to use, some good reminders on doing perimeter and area. If you have any questions, of course, uh, comment, let me know, and I can help you out with that. Have a good day.